Hello guys. All right, so today I'm gonna be cutting some uh, black steel pipes, like these ones. So what I'm gonna be using is uh, Diablo Steel Demon. That's a brand new one. I'm still gonna use this uh, old one. Uh, it's not neat use, I guess that's what you could say. It was used, that one blade was used to cut all these steel pipes out. So there's uh, one more long, really long pipe. I'm gonna have to cut in uh, sections and take it out. It's in there somewhere. Okay, so this is the pipe I'm looking to cut. It's a long stretch of our old radiator pipe that was used for water heating. You know. So first I'm gonna remove all the uh, wiring around it so nothing's get cut. Move them aside. Then I'm gonna start cutting it. I will give you a post it. Okay, so I move the wires out of the way. So uh, this is here, this area I'm going to start cutting it over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah over here. I'm gonna cover up the motor so no debris goes in. So that will be uh, doing a little section. And I could put it out from this way and the rest will could be put back into that way. Startup. Startup is always a little bit harder because the blade tends to wander. So take a time. When you're cutting, don't force the blade too much, you might get cut and then you have the and then you, the blade might get it binds and it might snap in half or you will be jerking the pipe around like that. Make sure it goes smoothly. If it gets caught, you know, stop, uh, wiggle it out. Sometimes you might have to redo your cut a little bit, you know, to enlarge the opening a little bit so the blade goes in smoother. Yeah, your blade might be cutting uh, a little bit to the go sideways a little bit and it get caught. Yeah, usually it's better a good idea to with two hands where you hold the uh, your cut in one hand and then the, uh, the pipe in the other right? and that's what I'm gonna be using so I got it started already it's uh, in a quarter of the way or less than a quarter one fifth let's know that you're gonna cut through okay so I'm halfway halfway through already through this pipe so it's not that hard just like the, uh, the tool itself is heavy you know, when you have to reach up overhead uh, if you're doing it by one hand of course it's gonna be harder too right so you know switch hands once in a while so you don't get tired out too much Yeah, of course you should use two hands to stabilize the pipe too, huh? Okay. Okay, so this is one of the perfect example. So sometimes uh, of, like, cro getting close to the end of your cut, yeah, the pipe's gonna bind up and your blade's gonna get caught. So, uh, you know, stop when you do that. Yeah, you're gonna be shaking the pipe really violently. And either you're gonna break your blade or you're gonna cause injury to yourself or both at the same time. So just wiggle it out. You know, this one it didn't get caught too badly, but you know, sometimes you just have to wiggle it out slowly. And then uh, what you could do, if you have enough space on, uh, on the pipe, you could 
finish the cut on the other side uh, because usually there's not much left you could just do a uh, give a few minutes cut on the other side and the whole pipe will be finished uh, on a tighter space where you cannot do that you cannot reach through back you're gonna have to try to uh, you know, go back in slowly and enlarge the opening a little bit more and then slowly you're gonna get cut it you're gonna cut it through but once it get caught don't let it you know don't force it don't keep uh, keep your finger on the trigger then you're jerking around and breaking the blade uh, with my case I think I should be able to rotate this pipe it's because the end has been cut away so and it's not anchored down all the way so I might be able to rotate it enough and finish the cut on the on the same way or uh, same direction of cut it is rotating so yeah so let me just rotate it enough see yeah my was uh yeah it's all rotated so just this tiny little section so i just have to cut it through this end and you this whole thing should fall apart all right let me finish that yeah this i will need two hands because it's unsupported on this side the pipe's not supported on this side so i will need to hang on to it when it's cut okay so that's the first section i just cut out so a small little section but it has a elbow at the end so for me to cut it and pull through the through the uh, hole, I have to move the elbow, otherwise it might not go through. And that's the uh, maximum safe space I could cut it from. Any further in, uh, not gonna be easier. Right, so next cut is gonna be uh, through the other side. Okay, so after looking at the piping for a little while, I think this probably will be the best spot for me to cut it. Right here, there's some uh, open, uh, actually no. Uh, yeah, I will, cut, I, I will either cut it here or I will either cut it here and then I will make a cut over here. Here is good. I will cut away this, uh, this drywall so I can bring the pipe down. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I'll probably cut it here. Yeah, that's the gas pipe right there. So cut it right here. Good clearance, but cut away the dry water. So for the dry water, I could just use a reciprocal also. Why would you use a reciprocal if you could just screw it with a knife and put it on the drywall? Uh, I didn't bring my knife. Thank you. Okay, so the drywall's out. Let's get this cut. See how the blade was moving around? Don't worry about it. Just move it around the ball until you finally sink back in there. When it's cut enough groove out of it, it will stay in the groove. It's very noisy, so always wear your ear protection. I, I'm gonna put my ear protection on and can you continue the cut? So same as uh, the other cut, I rotated the pipe around because it was getting uh, cut. So I'm uh, cutting it from the back side. It's, it's almost finished also. 
this tire pressure at like that continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mom, but don't push hard. You know, the blade do its job. See, all my blade teeth are still in perfect condition. Well, the paints are gone, but the blade teeth are in very good condition. And as long as you don't push hard, it will kill the, the pipes, not the blade. Okay. Go smooth. Clean cut. Alright, so I'm gonna cut the other side and bring it down this section of the pipe and just keep cutting. When you're cutting pipes that's hanging, make sure you know what's gonna happen after you cut it. So uh, with this pipe, I know that side is supported, but this side is not supported anymore because it's been cut over there. So I'm gonna have to put my hand on this and hold on to it so it doesn't drop suddenly and bind the blade and snap it in half or cause or, you know, cause me damage and injuries. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So one hand on one hand on here and one hand continue to cut. But also because I'm almost through, I'm gonna rotate rotate the pipe also. So I'll make that cut easier. Oh, not almost through huh? But three quarter of the way. Might as well start on this way. Because when you once you get to the uh, close to the end, it will usually bind up. Okay, so let me start with that. Okay, so that's another section that's cut. Now it's just the uh, part of uh, trying to take it off the ceiling. There's a little bit of space in the joist, so could try to lift it on one end and slowly lift it down the other end. So I'm gonna need my two hands for this uh, so I can position it properly. Uh, okay. Okay, so that's uh, another section I just brought down. Pretty lengthy section. That's good. That's only two cuts, so that's good. Let's throw that away. Yeah, that one is much longer than the, the first one. You know, the less cut you have to do, the better. You know, save you time and energy. Let's wear on the blade. All right, let's continue on. Okay, so this one uh, just been cut on this side. This section removed. That one, I know the end is cut also. So I'm gonna see if I could try to move it in. Pull it in. I have no access to that on the uh, on the actual ceiling over there. It's over the washroom, and all washrooms are ceiling is not open. So let's see if I can pull it in. If it's lucky, we could get the whole thing out without cutting it. If not, just give it one more cut. So let's see. It's cut so far. And this how long it is. Oh. Okay, so there's an end piece that's going on the hanger. That's hitting the hanger. So I'm gonna have to figure out okay, how to remove the hanger if I want to get that piece out. Okay, let's see how I get out the hanger. So this one, because of the uh, coupling, it was in the way, it, won't, it wasn't allowing the pipe to go through the, uh, to snipe right through. So I have to disassemble the, uh, the joist hanger in the ceiling take it apart, then I could pull the whole thing up. Yeah, you're gonna run into a situation like that once in a while. So with that section being pulled out, and this section being cut, I'm gonna see if I could pull some over and cut it here, because this is a good cutting spot. 
uh, good open spot. Uh, so let's see what happens. If I cut it here, I can just remove it down here too. So hopefully it will be a, a lot more coupling that will prevent me from moving. Uh, I guess not. Uh, yeah, it's not moving, so there's a coupling in the way somewhere. So I'm gonna go to the other side of the room and find a spot to cut it. Alright, so in this room, the pipes are above this ceiling right here. Alright, so I'm gonna have to cut this ceiling out and then I could get to the pipe. Okay, so with the ceiling cut, I'm gonna cut the uh, the pipe right here somewhere. Yeah, that's good enough. So uh, having a little problem now, the pipe won't come get pulled out anymore, and it's probably because the uh, one of the uh, the couplings here uh, get caught somewhere, and the rest of it is right right behind this uh, ductwork. So even if I cut off the ceiling, I'm not really sure if I can get access to them. I need enough clearance. If you can see right there, I don't know if I could get enough clearance to cut the uh, the pipe. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna have to uh, remove some of the ceiling. See if there's any knock. Okay, so good news is cover the ceiling. And there's the pipe and the blade will reach in just enough clearance to reach in okay so i should be able to cut this way all right let's get this started okay so i got this pipe move uh by removing another hanger but uh, the pipe is uh too long uh to come out from the ceiling so i'm gonna have to cut it down again uh right in the middle here somewhere to shorten the pipe so I can remove it. Okay, so I got that long pipe uh, cut in the middle. Going to the next room to pull it out. Okay, so this one side of the pipe. Pull out. Okay, that's the end of it. What the hell is this thing? Looks like a cross or something, huh? Somebody's been praying in the ceiling. So same as before, myself, one end into the joist, and the other, well, it came crashing down the city, and just put it right up. There we go. Let's get the other side out too. Okay, pull the pipe over and just cut another section now. So let's pull that section out also. So that's the section I cut. Let's put it out and get it out of the ceiling. Okay. 
Where's it? Oh, it's the joist. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. And two hands is usually better. All right, that's all. This one more section out. Let's put, go back and finish off the other one. The end is near. This is the last section that I'm gonna cut right here. And I will be able to put that out piece out and this piece come right out through that way also. There's no more pipe further past that way. So that's it. Nice cut. And we'll be done for the day. Nice cut done. Let's pull out the pipes. There's the pipe. Oh, that's one section of the pipe. Put out a little bit. So I can waste it up. Oh, it just goes straight down. Okay, enough clearance. Go straight down, so that's good. Okay. So next piece. Okay, so last section. Just push it over to the open area. Ooh, wow. It's very short. Okay, short enough. Do we have to go over? Put it right down. Alrighty, so that's all done. So all these pipe today. It's not too long, what, uh, 40, 50 feet, 60, probably about 50 feet, something like that, of uh, black steel pipe. That was used for all uh, water radiators, all cut in pieces with the Milwaukee uh, hacksaw, hassaw, uh, reciprocating saw, 18 volt, I'm 18 Okay, and use a uh, Diablo steel demon blade. Okay, look at the blade, it's still practically perfect. Of course, there were some bind knobs in the piping, but uh, it just wiggled the blade slowly out and continue cutting, and it's good. That's one single blade cuts all this pipe and these pipes. That's about three days of cutting. One blade still going strong. I totally recommend it. Diablo Steel Demon. Let's see if I get the original one. So this is the one that's still not used yet. It's brand new. That's how it looks like. Diablo Steel Demon. This one is uh, what? eight teeth. Hey, TPI, this 9 inch, okay. 9 inch string metal cutting. Copper tipped, thick metal cutting. If you have any metal work that you need to cut, I would definitely recommend this. Perfect. Thanks for spending the time with me today. See you guys.